interventions towards the attainment of the SDGs. Foreign Affairs Minister Stanley Kakuvo says the UPND government is committed to further enhance relations with the United Arab Emirates through strategic partnerships in manufacturing, agriculture and mining. Mr. Kakuvo, who is in the advance party for the President Haga and HLMA, said this after holding a meeting with his counterpart from the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Shakbut Nayan al Hayan. He said uh, one of the uh, key agreements in the meeting was that the UAE will give Zambia a slot free of charge at the upcoming Dubai Expo scheduled for January 2022. Mr. Kagobo said his ministry will now proceed to structure a program uh, for uh, Zambian businesses to participate in the expo after processing uh, through the Ministry of Commerce. He said the two parties have also agreed to mutually uh, design investment targets through the Abu Dhabi and Dubai Chambers of Commerce for Trade and Investments in Zambia. Mr. Kakubo further said Zambia recently opened a diplomatic consulate in Dubai, which will soon be commissioned before the January 2022 Dubai Expo. This is according to a message posted on Mr. Kakubo's Facebook page. Mines Minister Paul Kabuswe has described as a mess the current of financial and operational challenges at Konkola Copper Mines on the Copper Belt. Minister Kabuswe says the politicization of KCM by the PF government went overboard. More in the following report. At the rate KCM was going, Ish. the state of affairs at one of Zambia's mining giants, Konkola Copper Mines, is depressing, and the mines minister is a sad man. KCM is on its knees and barely surviving, and all fingers are pointing at the liquidator Milingolungu. It's unacceptable. We must never, ever bring politics in the private sector. The behavior of the liquidator, I know is unacceptable. I expected him to be here. I'm very disappointed that he's not here because part of the mess that we are in is because of that liquidation process. The situation is unacceptable underground. The situation is unacceptable. Those of the, on the open pit, it is just ugly. The mines minister was at KCM to check on the status of the mine. As the, the Minister of Mines, we are here to make sure that we help you, we run with you as government, because the focus of all of us is to make sure that the mineral wealth of Zambia is felt by the common person. He wants sanity and professionalism restored at KCM. Mr. Kabuswe also wants transparency in the awarding of jobs to contractors and suppliers. So we want to pledge that we won't interfere. No cadres will be ordering who to do what. We want you to be professional, but as, as government will take a keen interest to make sure that uh, you know, the right things are done. Management at KCM is ready to give the new Don administration support. I know from the start that you're going to be a staunch supporter of KCM and its, and its future and that we will work well together with integrity in putting KCM first and making sure that we restore this business to what it is destined and is possible of, of being in actual fact. Stakeholders have backed the pronouncements. So we have every confidence. I think what we were lacking in the mines is simply the right leadership and the right management and the right government. Now he has pledged that UPND is equal to the task and called for patience from miners and other stakeholders in the mining sector. Tamara Mswala, ZNBC News 